Oh, you can't see me because it's bright. Fancy nail polish that got messed up already. Vegan and uh, water-based and no uh, of those three bad chemicals like phthalates and formaldehyde and stuff. Anyway, that's not why I'm talking to you today. So you will notice in the bottom of our closet. Well, maybe you won't notice because you can't see. Wait for it. Ah, I made this little box. I know, it's four pieces of wood. It doesn't really make a box yet, but I'm kind of excited because sort of just blossoming as a carpenter, carpentress. I'm not really sure what the correct terminology is. It's not bolted in yet, because um, those peeps back there, not peeps isn't like my peeps, but the pipes, like the French peep. I'm just making this worse. We haven't really used them yet, so we might need to get to them still. No polish. And this one, I'm so excited, because I didn't have the right tools when I did this little hole. Uh, that's probably not something to be proud of, but sort of a handsaw and a drill. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, there goes everything. But it fits, and it's like perfect. Well, not perfect, because we used the plywood that had been left out, and so it's got like a slight warp to it, but hopefully we'll just, it'll get screwed in eventually, and you'll never know. And then a shelf will go here, and then we'll put a back. Maybe a back here and like a, another like half shelf back there just to maximize storage because seriously, like storage on an RV. You just, you can't have enough storage. They said it couldn't be done. They gave me a test to make me the best that I could be. Something. Things are happening. <laughs> Making a hole. Well, but how do you like me at this time of day? There's blood on the bed, but here in my head, I'm feeling fine. And it looks like a puzzle piece. Not what I'm going for. If you will it, it is no dream. Ah. All right, so this is actually, believe it or not, totally what I wanted. In like a, I did it with a drill and a handsaw kind of way. They were like, you need this other kind of saw. And I was like, no, I don't. Guess what, I don't. Totally did it. Totally power tool. I win. And then there was a shelf. And apparently there was a song that I wrote about the shelf. Shoes and stuff in there. That'll be lovely. Remember, this is under here are the supports. Those continue under, that's the wheel well, and they support the bathroom, so we don't fall on uh, into the wheel well while we're using our wonderful composting toilet, which we might actually use soon. So excited, like, yeah. Anyway, progress. Here we have it. Bottom shoe box that I invented. If they didn't invent it, I'm sure someone else would have thought of this if they had the opportunity and the desire. The bottom shelf and the little bonus shelf, which won't have a tape measure on it eventually. None of this is screwed in right now, so it'll get screwed. That, that won't gape like that, and then that won't stay actually because there's no support in the far corner. 
so it would fall. But not too bad, right? Any like contractor, carpenter people looking for, you know, someone who can use a circular saw and a jigsaw moderately well, here I am. Ah, uh, lunchtime. The quietest time on the bus. Because my cats are loud. Anyway, this isn't a cat video, I promise. Let's go take a look at the finished shoe box. Should have done this probably before it was full of stuff, but we didn't have the opportunity. Hello, guitar. Uh, in here. Hello. <clears throat> I need to clean that mirror. So towels and shirts and we're not very good at folding clothing, apparently. We have this extra external shore power wire for the heater, because where we are right now, we can't run our wood burning stove, but it worked out pretty well. There are shoes in the cubby, as intended. Fake leather. I don't even know if it's supposed to be leather, but it's not, it's not leather. That's the important part. But yeah, so that's worked out pretty well. Need to sort of extract every little tiny bit of storage when, um, when you live on a 35 foot school bus. So that's that. I hope you liked it guys. Um, more to come. Bye.